Hey everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Glenn, Senior Stock Market Strategist for VectorVest, and it's Monday, so it's all about my top weekly picks for the week uh, for both the US and for Canada. And I'm going to start giving some themes to the stocks that I pick on a weekly basis. This week is gonna be about growth stocks. Growth stocks tend to do well as the market is moving higher, but I do have some reservations about the sustainability of the upward trend in the market right now. So let's get into the software. We always start off at the home page. Want to get a view of what's really going on in the market, looking at our color guard. The predominant color you see is yellow, which means that we need to be cautious in the market. And as I record this video right now, RT is in the red, telling me that the market is slightly in a downtrend. But the way the market is going, the Fed is saying, we're going to get these cuts. You know how I feel about these cuts. We're going to get these cuts. AI stocks, tech stocks, all of these things are moving the market higher. Let's go to a graph. Here's our market timing graph. And the sustainability of this market I've had in question for a while. The market's just been rocking and rolling. And a lot of it, again, is being fueled by what the Fed is saying in regards to cuts to the interest rates. Currently, this is what I want you to look at before you pull the trigger on any of the stocks that I'm looking at in the U.S. market. The Vector Vest composite is sitting at a level of a support of $66.29. Let's just round it up to $66.30. If, and we can see the market's pulling back today, if the market breaks below this level of support, I'm going to tell you not to touch any of these stocks. But if the market still has room to move to the upside and stays above that level, I'm gonna tell you, you keep your eyes on these stocks that I'm gonna give you today. So let's go to the viewers tab. Here's my top weekly pick of growth stocks. Now, the biggest thing I like about growth stocks is again, when the market is moving higher, these are stocks that have the potential to keep moving higher because they are growth stocks, stocks that should grow over time or should outperform the market. We have an indicator called relative value tells me if a stock should outperform a AAA corporate bond over the next one to three years. All of these relative values are above the value of one. These are good growth stocks. You'll notice for the most part, Twilio, undervalued. Iris Energy, which is a crypto stock, undervalued. Weibo, undervalued. Um, Melco Resort Entertainment, undervalued. The only stock that is overvalued is a stock in the uranium space that's been beaten up so much, a lot. I want you to keep your eyes on this because is uranium back on the move to the upside? If that's the case, this is a great growth pick, but the market's got to cooperate with it. So four out of the five stocks are undervalued. Relative safeties are below one. So I'm going to consider these to be more aggressive picks. Out of the top five that I've got here, only two have an RT above one. That means they're in uptrends. Those are the stocks that I would migrate to first before the other three, but I also want to make sure the market's moving higher. Four out of the five have a uh, master indicator VST above one. All of them have double digit earnings growth rate as well. So from a growth perspective, undervalued upside potential VST above one, there's a lot of promising signs because these stocks have been beaten up. A lot of them are hold recommendations. Let's go see if they have the wherewithal to continue moving higher. Let's go peep these out a little bit. Now, this could be looked at as early entries. I love the upward move on Twilio after it's been beaten down. If the market really continues to move higher, this stock has potential. We've got a trigger where the five is crossed above the 40 on our team. No trend yet. All right. Irene, which is part of crypto. Definitely trending down, broke through the downtrend, now moving up, trading close to session highs. We got trigger, no trend yet. Next one, this is in a little bit of a wedge, Weibo. I've got uptrend, I've got downtrend. It looks like it wants to break to the upside of the trend or actually of the wedge. We do have trigger, no trend yet. I'd keep my eyes on that one. A lot of these could be very early picks if the market moves higher and still has legs. These could be really good plays, but I told you what to look for before you pick up any of these trades. No trend or trigger yet, but nice moving up after breaking down, uh, breaking the downtrend. And the last stock in the list is URG. Be careful with this. Uranium is on the move. And if it is, this is a good stock. Another stock I'd really like for you to keep your eyes on from this perspective would be CCJ. So those are my top weekly picks for the U.S., 
in regards to growth stocks. Let's move over to the Canadian market. A little different here. All of the market timing is up. No red bars, still more yellow than anything. So even in the Canadian market, I want you to be careful uh, with the plays. Let's go to the viewers tab. Um, actually, let's go to the graphs tab first. Look at your market compared to the U.S. market. Looks a lot more stable, a lot less volatile. Definitely moving from the bottom left to the top right. Just one day off a three-month high. A down day in the market today. Uh, just be careful. But, man, look at the indicators. So, again, I'm a little bit more confident in the picks for the Canadian market. But we know that a lot of times the Canadian market follows behind the U.S. market. Now, let's take a look at your stocks. Um, got Tseco Mine, Silvercrest. I got a lot of gold here. Energy and gold looks like the biggest movers in the Canadian market. Undervalued, undervalued, undervalued. Uh, the uranium stock in the Canadian market is also overvalued, but I-80 gold undervalued. Notice that that's what's moving. That's what's moving in the Canadian market. Low dollar stocks, relative values all above one. Uh, RTs, three out of the five have RTs above one. I would migrate to these stocks first since they are in an uptrend. VST, four out of the five have the master indicator of VST above one. Look at this IA, uh, IAU as a sell recommendation. If your market continues to move higher, be interesting watching this move from a sell to a hold to a buy if your market continues to run higher. Let's take a look at the graphs of these stocks. Put them into a three month, oops, three month view. Take off the crosshairs. Look at that. Tseco Mines definitely moving higher. Only two days removed from the three month high, but look at that. Good play there. Uh, looking at Silvercrest, a little bit of give back. Watch that. We do have trigger, we do have trend. A little bit of sideways move, slightly higher than it was three months ago. Next one. Wow. FVI, uh, another mining gold silver. We got trigger, we got trend, we got moving up. Uh, a little bit of indecision today, but not far away from the three month high. Uh, URE, uranium, again, same as in the US market, it is moving up. I don't have trend or trigger year yet, but I'm interesting looking at uranium starting to move both in the US and Canada, this could be a good play. And the last stock we have on the list is IAU, the only sell recommended stock. I would definitely look at the other two in the mining gold silver, but um, it is a growth stock. All right, let's close that out. And that's it for the US and Canada, my top weekly picks. And again, going forward, I am going to have a theme, you know, whether next week could be technical plays, we could be looking at dividend plays. I am now going to do a little different on the weekly plays just so that I can get everybody involved in regards to what's going on with my top weekly picks. Folks, this video is over. And until the next time, see ya. Hey, VV Nation, do you have access to the VectorVest tool, the most powerful tool in the industry right now? No? Well, I'm going to give you an opportunity to take advantage of an outstanding deal. Simply go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash YT. You can take advantage of VectorVest 30 days for $9.95. That's an outrageous price for a trial. So what do you get? Well, you get uh, the opportunity to see how we have outperformed the S&P 500 by over 2,000% for the last 20 years. We'll go down and we can see that we track over 18,000 stocks globally and have access to analyzing those. And we've got 25 years of accurate market predictions. Yes, folks, we time the market. Simply, folks, all you have to do is go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash YT. 995 for 30 days. And we offer a hassle-free refund. Folks, take advantage of it right now.